Ladies and gentlemen, it is a new century here on the Crusader King series of Tazilovich in the Empire of Bosnia. We are now greeted by the new emperor, Mate Ninoslav, the son of Emperor Mihailo the Lecher, which he died surprisingly young at 37. Surprisingly because he died clutching at his heart. We, we didn't know what disease it was, but that, the combination of stress, and also he was an ugly, cannibal, frail, hiddenist, although he had some good in him, but ultimately he was a very bad person. That's all I could say about this man, which for most of his life he had four different wives. Well, I should say names. There was the French woman. This is my mother, uh, who died from fear because of what he did to her. And there's a uh, Rosia Zin, an Italian who has vanished about a trace. And then this is the widow of the emperor from Italy, who is quick minded. Oh, that's Venice, right? Hmm. Venice. Another thing. She's still in Bosnia? No, no, she went back. Just wondering. Alright. Now that it's a new century for, for the new Emperor of Bosnia, I mean, we're well aware that our big neighbor, Bulgaria, which it seems two of us are just trying to win a race of who has the biggest empire and biggest military well clearly there he's got two wars which aren't going well for him and they're not a full strength well neither are we but we are about to up our domain levies which i think we should up that a bit more put it here in the bosna I was thinking about spending more money on structures, but no, we gotta hold a coronation ceremony as a new emperor. Why all these prisoners? Yeah, let's do that. The time has finally come for me to be officially recognized as Emperor of Bosnia. In order to do this, I will need the support of the Catholic Church, but convincing authoritative members will neither be easy nor cheap. To begin our preparations, I should find a priest willing to crown me. Well, I know that my marshal, who is also the Prince Archbishop, is busy. And there's a... Oh yeah, I forgot, this is still ongoing. The German had a great holy war for Saxony. Which one would think, well, should I join in? Probably. But they're winning at the moment, so no reason to send our troops to die up there. So, if you're busy, please come to Bosnia to crown me. That's because I have been baptized by an, an older pope. Yeah. By the previous pope. And so I've been baptized and now crowned. That would mean more prestige and more piety. And I see in the future he will be one of Bosnia's greats. And I'm sure you probably noticed by now, which I should have addressed it at the very beginning. On the previous two episodes when I recorded on this new laptop, Alienware, which uh, is what I'm using right now. I was using an old headset, which I felt, okay, maybe I need to turn down the volume. Again, I noticed that problem before you viewers did. So I had to do something about it. And I switched back to my old headset, plus with the boom, I... So just wondering, what would you prefer me to sound like, voice-wise? Do you want me to keep using this old headset, or use that headset that I used two episodes ago? Previous two episodes, I should say, on this new sophisticated headset, which obviously is highly sensitive. So I had to turn down the master volume and the microphone volume for the voice. So hopefully it wouldn't be as sensitive. But that's just up to me to decide rather than up to you. So I'm just trying to make it sound 
better and easier, at least in my head. Because in our heads, um, our voices sound different than from our perspective. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of disease. There. England is getting stronger again. You know, despite the fact that they're heretics, but there's some that like me. So since our Catholic authority is way up, and while they have their moral authority, I'm thinking, well, originally I thought we would view them as being a great enemy, but no. If you have a marriage alliance with them, that would have a great ally. But I already have an ally in Sardinia. Well, not a great pact. Father in law? It's alright. Do I still have, uh. What do you have in artifacts? You ain't got none. Well then. Isn't one of those old crowns still here? Oh, wait a minute, they're all gone. <laughs> yeah, that book that was written a year ago. I ain't giving it away. Unless I'm gonna be that type of guy where I'll just send him money. That's a lot. Well, wait until after coordination ceremony. too old. Give me somebody. Just to get the speed up and then uh, we'll continue. Slightly. Humble Emperor Mateninosov. Am I humble? Yes. I forgot to look at my traits besides baptized Ombrani, Ombrafel, Diligent, deceitful, and humble. Oh, I guess he's alright. But we gotta get him crowned first. And Ragoza, Dubrovnik. They've been looted by a mean, mean host. By a mean host of Vikings. Which they came down and they just destroyed the Republic. They don't make as much money now. How much money do we make? I think we could do more. After the coronation ceremony, as I said, Martin Inoslav will be a great military ruler. My scouts inform me of a most skilled physician residing in a nearby village. Though he lacks any formal schooling and supposedly a raging alcoholic, the villagers swear that he's been able to cure any ailment afflicting him. This Kiyomi of Maharnets could easily persuade to take up residence, my Oh, okay, a Jewish drunk. It's pretty good. I'm willing to take that risk. I got money. We make more money than we lose. Don't think we. Oh, here's one thing for the future. Oh, what's new? Donate to the church. How much? Ooh, man. That's pretty steep. Remember, I'm, I'm going to be a great ruler, so it shall be an extravagant ceremony. Spared no expense. Some come, some will not. Only a few more days remain before I'm crown emperor, before God and all my subjects. My court is filling with distinguished guests, both vassals and foreign dignitaries. I don't think there were any foreign dignitaries around here. All we saw was mayors and bishops. They've they come to bear witness this fundamental moment of my reign. Uh, such as a lavish ceremony is a rare spectacle to behold even amongst royalty. It will never be soon enough. 
Organizing such a great ceremony has given me a chance to know, so, know better of some of my vassals. Maintaining healthy relationships with all my subjects is fundamental to ensure the future stability and prosperity of my realm. The Prince Bishop uh, Tuznik, uh, in, in particular, seems like a man I could really trust. William our Marshal, would you like to be friends? He cheerfully accepts my offer in friendship. I was not wrong putting my trust in him. And now, thanks to this fortuitous meeting, we have both ensured a lasting peace between our two realms. Excellent. I made my first friend, whereas the previous emperor, my father, Mihailo, never made any friends. Nobody loved him. Not even his wives. Eh, why not? to be known as the holy. Although in the future, once I have more, um, or once we have children, then maybe... Hey, Tune, my Dalmatian half-brothers come to age. Hova Lucius II approached me tonight to personally inform me of how satisfied he is with a great month of festivity I've organized to uh, accompany my coordination. He wanted to be sure I knew of how welcome he feels in my court, and that he expects great things from me. So do I. I'm flattered. Uh-oh. Dangerous factions already. It's increased power, but no. I kneel before Pope Lucius II as host of vassals surround us in complete silence. The Pope blesses me with placing the imperial crown on my head and proclaiming me Emperor of Bosnia by the grace of God. I am finally and truly Emperor. <laughs> So, it's increased council power. Well, you can't please everyone. But I do know that... Well, the coordination's finished, but look at me now. Also, by the way, do I look similar to the old Montenegro Slav? One of the Magnificent Seven Heroes? Yes, we have the same facial hair. If I wanted to be like that great man, maybe I should have the same hairstyle. Which, I don't know if you can see the very back of it. Where is it? The one with the ponytail. Is that gotta be it? Probably. Just keep looking. Yeah, I guess the ponytail was the one that was it. This one. Yeah, I guess I do see the similarities, but to be fair, he has features of West Slavic cultures rather than South Slavic, so you could say I would like to be like Mate Ninosaw Fukacic, who lived up to 70. I want to be just like him, and plus he had more virtues than I. If I wanted to have more virtues, maybe I should join a monastic order in the future, even though I don't have the learning skill for it. But we can at least try. All to keep these vassals happy. Give me some more. Let's hold a grand tournament. Yeah, we'll be spending a great portion of our money for all these things. And just build up all the money and troops. And eventually we gotta fight against Bulgaria for de jure claims of the rest of Duchy of Nitra. To complete a 
Czechoslovakian unification of sorts. Word of the lavish so period of celebration is that surrounded my Cornish spread across the realm and beyond. My name will forever be associated with prestige and wealth. Look, <laughs> I predicted this and already it's occurring. He is expected to be one of the all-time greats. But his reign just started. It's time for the tournament. Hey, why don't you sway Sardinia and Corsica if we want to form another mind? Ah, political concern. Okay, no need for swaying. Sorry about that. She's gonna be one for intrigue. Knowing, you know, who was named after. If one recalls the past episode. Steward of Chimis, uh, third place. Tenek, second place. Two Bohemians. Let me guess, another Bohemian. No. Uh, Karantin. The winner. Nazi Eve. Who is a genius? Well, he is a genius, um, doesn't have any leadership traits, so don't even think about putting him on our army. Now look at that, we're already making 32 a month, but I believe we can make more. Oh yeah, they're about to win this great holy war. Well, well we are about to win on the defense. Must learn on your own. Two loyalists, three pragmatists. Just looking to change any laws. Wait. We're gonna up on heavy infantry because I, you know, I carry my father's axe now and he's more into heavy infantry and we're building up more on heavy infantry and pikemen these days. Bulgaria is winning. It seems defending that territory is more important than dealing with rabble. They're back. Assumingly that's the same guy who raided us. No. I think. The guy who ruined... Uh... Who ruined Ragusa. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Hold control. Avoid raising levies when there's hostile armies. Get together, everyone. Maybe one can hope during the Battle of Zahumia that I would get a leadership trait out of it. Put me in the center, and who do I got? Yeah, why not? Have all aggressive leaders, the Serbian and the Greek. This is an offensive to drive out this host out of here. Our baptism of fire. As a way of proving our military might. For future wars. We lost 300 and they lost uh, nearly 4,000. Yep, this is what we can do to them. Let that be a demonstration. So, Zahumia will 
will be most likely a target for those raiders now. Which again, wait for this uh, war to end. Wife's well, pregnant. Good. She may be on the doll side, but I hope the we'll have good, strong children in the future. Not my friend, plotting treason against me. No way, he's my friend. The Avar is a good man. But well, I'll threaten him with exposure to stay out of the factions, just to prevent a wide rebellion. Good. That's what friends are for. Yeah, during a previous reign there was an embargo war. We went up against Venice to destroy all the tripos here. Some are re-establishing themselves here, but um, others are just trying to... Yeah, like Ragusa, like I would rather have them control the trade zones of Arcos. Even Ragusa, they even have trade with um, Sardinia and Corsica at their capital. I like that. But that's for the control of the coast of Sardinia. In my studies of warfare, I've come to realize that clever tactics on a battlefield is only part of the story. There are other disciplines of equal importance. Well, Monte Nino Slav in the past, one of the Magnificent Seven commanders of Bosnia, I mean, he was known to be aggressive and a trickster, but for me, I'll be, I'll be inspiring. I'll inspire the men that they will, and they will invade hell for me. This character is a way of reaching directly into the hearts and minds of the soldiers on the battlefield, and not just with the sword. Up the morale, damage, and defense. This is what we need. In the far future, if we ever expand and uh, Bosnia will be at our strongest ever, I may want to um, disband the old retinue and replace it with the Gazar retinue, which they're just strictly cavalry. Nothing much is going to be happening, so let's uh, speed up a bit. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalance as affecting her mood. At least you are resting. Ah, uh, I'll buy you something nice. There, yeah, you are comforted. Baby's coming. And my new heir is... is a daughter. Who's born a genius, but sickly. Uh-oh. Well, I'll keep that name. The Great Holy War fails. The All-Father, it seems, does not favor the pagan faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Vilka, uh, well, they just called off the Great Holy War for Saxony against Emperor uh, Villarin of the Holy Roman Empire. Pathetic. Now please, save my genius daughter. Oh, should we give her a baptism, but... I 
I guess spending more might give that Pope a lot of money. He's going to be our bank in case, you know, you actually killed someone? Oh no, that's nothing. Fast the Hollow. He was either a raider or a participant in that great holy war. I know baptism is just, it's just a ad prestige and piety. But this is my genius daughter who is sickly. Oh, well, let's have a baptism and just pray to the man upstairs that she would be free. So, the grandiose ceremony is preparing for her baptism. So, when my daughter is claiming to be chosen as the child's godparent. Uh... Let me see. A godparent. Who likes me the least? I guess it's you. Count Brico. The Pope washes the child three times over, reciting a prayer to protect her soul, surrounded by a host of cardinals. Then he raises little uh, Melissa up for all the crowd gathered in the great cathedral, exposing her to choose the future subjects. What a priceless sight. I mean, yeah, she's baptized, but... Oh, no. She's gonna die. I mean, Genius does not have health benefits, but... <sighs> Someone's gotta take care of her. Hate to lose her. Even though in Agnatic Cognatic rules, even if I were to have another child and it would be a son, then it wouldn't matter anyhow. Somehow we got lucky on a birth of a genius, but she's not going to last long. Hmm, let me see. I mean, I did say I want to be more of a pious man, not a sinful man. One for learning or one for stewardship? Well, I would like to be one for learning. I need to up that learning scale a bit, but you can do that in the theology focus. I'll join the Dominican Order. Helen was a part of the Benedictine Order. But now let's have the Dominican Order. And here's 90 gold for you. Gonna be one for learning on this one. I wonder the improved capes thing. Ah. Yeah, do that. And I guess that too. We should be alright, but just raise a little money, then we'll start our first one. The hospital in Verbosna has seen an increase in the amount of people looking for food and shelter lately. You can barely provide the food required as it is. Perhaps this could be a good opportunity to make an impression. I shall make preparations at once. Prepare food and supplies to be handed out as charity. More money to burn away or piss away, whatever you want to say. Alms and other supplies have been brought to the hospital. It will make the life much easier than for those in need. The question now is how to present this extraordinary gift. God made it possible. The religious authorities approve, and I am zealous. Following God's will is more important than anything else. I've gained the zealous trait. Okay, I'm bringing a Miroslava to the local monastery today. That's my sister. There she meets with many of my brothers and sisters doing penance who greet her politely. 
As we leave the monastery, my sister says, Go with God to do his ultimate today. I'm very proud of her attitude to the ways of St. Dominic. Up, Don, learning and martial. Good on you. Just wait till we make about 500 gold, then we'll start our first war. Not against Bulgaria. It'll be against uh, Venice. Which they're about to lose uh, control of their city, if they can even defend that. They're referring to this area here. Katarina Teslovich. Sturdy, gregarious, ambitious. And is about to marry this guy from Ireland, which is conquered by Cornwall, which has now renamed itself as Germanic Ireland. All right. Let me see. She got humble, just like me. Almost at maximum strength, and whoop. The rector's in jail. Because the emperor found out, and he ain't happy about that. But then again, he always hates me because he wants Serbia, wants Croatia, and Bosnia as well. But don't you worry. Because in about 60 years, by, ten, by the 1060s, then the Byzantine Empire will no longer be a threat to Bosnia's interest. So sorry, Rector. Five loyalists. That means we could change another one of the walls. Banishment. Should go to the ruler. You're probably wondering why am I moving all towards ruler? Because eventually, if I get Majesty up to level four. And then one more time at five, we'll unlock Imperial Ministration. And to have Imperial Ministration, you gotta have all these laws under ruler. So to be a true empire, it's gotta run like a... Like an autocrat. Oh wow, they actually defended themselves. I don't want no trait that would have my future child, you know, faulty, so here you go. Make sure she's well fed and take care of my palace cook. She became gluttonous. Nobody can ever uh, revolt here. It's impossible for a way of thinking. The pregnancy has made my wife, um, Jia Senta. Much more talkative and cheerful than usual. She never misses the chance to chat with anybody with an earshot. Unfortunately, most scholars agree that a pregnant woman should spend as much time as possible resting in a dark room to avoid giving birth to a sickly child. Is that what happened to Melissa? You need to rest. Please. Ugh, you want me to come for your coordination? It's for the King of Croatia, mind you. Well, whatever makes you happy. I'll be sure to attend. It's a short trip. Don't you worry about that. Resting in the dark has really helped my wife calm herself and clear her head. She looks much better in health and is and ready to deliver a strong child, just as I hope. All thanks to a simple remedy. You spared no expense for your coordination, just like me. As I was admiring the lavish sights offered to his palace, I was approached by the king himself. After having talked to him for a while, I'm starting to think we might have a lot in common. Yes, Bosnia, the empire, and kingdom, be friends with the kingdom of Croatia inside the empire. And, hey, the pope is here again. And he likes how Gaspar's made it. 
all attending a uh, prayer one early morning, I noticed my brother Vukmir uh, drowsing off in his seat. Well, meanwhile, our fellow members of the Dominican Order are deep in contemplation do not seem to notice. I ought to wake him up. Gently prod that Vukmir, but I get no reaction tonight. Shelt. My elbow do his side, causing him to cough and open his eyes. A flash of anger in him. His face turns red as he blinks. The situation is dawning on him suddenly. Thank you, he mumbles uh, sheepishly. Are you a count of what? You are also the designated regent and regent of Croatia. Oh, that Croatia, not the kingdom. Well, think nothing of it, friend. Long live the king. Look at his crown. Fancy. It's good to be back in Vibosna. Oh yeah, the guy who once rebelled. How'd you lose your eye? He hasn't killed anyone. He does have some dual experience, so he has dueling habits. Whoa! You've been blinded. Oh, wait a minute. He was the spy master. This is what the Byzantines did to him. It's a Byzantine thing to do. They blind him. And under Dalmatian culture rules, blind characters cannot inherit titles. But since he inherited before he was blinded, and he has measles and he's severe illness, blinded, well, he's about to die. And the expected one is going to be Stane. Stane is Dalmatian, short for Stanislav, which is a Slavic name. Interestingly enough. Well, I feel sorry for him. Heathens are back at Dubrovnik. Quick, put me in the center. Drove him out of there. Not sure about my genius daughter, don't know if she'll still live or not, but at least I have a son who was born normal. Oh, wait a minute, I think I know what name is going to be. I mentioned about the great heroes of the great generation back then. I know another one. Kulin. He was a duelist in the past. Okay, we've made enough money, so... Just when I was about to start a war, but now you want me to come over there? I guess I'm a traveling person, huh? Yeah, I guess Pope and I, both traveling people. And I'm sure sooner or later we'll see more saints popping up in this video. Oh, I'm off again! Let's hope this Serbian regent is, um, will take care of the Emperor while I'm away, again. Along with the Emperor. Okay, I'm back. Now we can get down to some real business that I've wanted to... They're actually defending themselves. Okay, they have similar strengths. Always gotta have a loyalist advisor with you. <sighs> there we go. It's just burping out a little. My daily routine involves uh, repeatedly swinging my blade at a training dummy. However, I can only learn so much fighting an enemy, an enemy. The practice gets trebly dull after a while. A Dalmatian man named Leonardus. Yeah, well, let's be friends. Put me up again. 
Even on that pregnancy is over, my wife's cravings for exotic foods have yet to stop. I'm starting to think she's just taking advantage of my generosity to grow fat. I think you've had enough, my dear. There you go. Took the word for it. And St Stane died of poor health. Here's Tony Bonda of Ragusa. Seniority, man. Matter of fact, I think this is the first time that uh, Bonda rules Ragusa. Huh, there you have it. But at least he likes me. I don't have to sway him. Alright, get back to shape. No, we're not gonna catch him. Okay, just move our troops down to Dubrovnik and we'll be ready to fight against Venice. Not an embargo war. No, it's gonna be something else. Because there isn't enough trade zone. And how much money do they make? Oh, that can be taxed. Yes, you probably heard me already. As soon as I said the words, I'm like, yep, he's going for a tributary war. Yep, that's what we're going to do. It's a tributary war. Start that right now. Extort tribute. Like how the Holy Roman Empire did and how Italy did. But now, let's do this. If I get killed, then um, it's over. But that's highly unlikely because I have a very high personal combat skill. Everyone over here. The kidnappers overpowered me and I made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag in my mouth. Luckily, they did not get far away from me. Count Vacho and the guards managed to free me and capture them. Make sure they're severely punished. I will make thanks to him and his guards. Intrigue at the court. That's what they think. Still not even in our maximum strength, but to be fair, we... I gotta stop making these trips. <laughs> The next time somebody calls for a coronation, I'm not going. Claim on Pomerania. He wants to run both Bulgaria and Pomer... Oh, dear. Well, this could be our best opportunity to, one, beat Venice in the Tributary War. And then we'll have to go to war against Bulgaria for, for Nitra. Troops, obviously. First step. Oh, never mind. Heck, Corinthians. I'm sure they probably. Well, why have a day one? I think we have to beat their troops first. Stop, stop, stop. At this point. There's the Venonation troops. Guess we'll have to beat the heck out of these guys first. Walk over here so we don't have that paint stick. We go back and forth.
they've already surrendered to uh, Corinthia. So they lost their city? Quick. There we go. Get on board. Hey, wait a minute. Did you not? Get on board, boys. Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's still... Now there. Pay attention. Yeah, follow these guys. Yeah, I guess that's an easy war. It's just a tributary war. What the... Uh, my father-in-law was slain by the Duke of Corsica. And they call him the Great. Well, damn. A wise choice. Finish the siege. He's got to surrender one of these days. A cleansing through fire. During a discussion with some fellow lay members of the Dominican Order, I mentioned dusty old tomes uh, I store in the library of Isoki. Now most of the content is hardly intelligible, I scoff. The eyes it appears widen. One should not take writings of Satan so lightly, my lord. That magnum opus? Don't you understand? This is contemplative theology. Peter de Magnanimous was a theologian. He was a good man. Well, almost. He had a sin which kept him out from being beatified. But this all sounds a bit excessive. Calm down, will you? And I'll take secluded pen nets whenever I'm satisf satisfied. This large speech, hold on. Winner. There, now Venice will pay some of their taxes to us. And we get more money. That's our, yeah, that's our retinue. Very well. Guess we could spend a little. Forty a month. Due to the amount of money we make and some of the tributary that comes from Venice. He wants Pomerania, that means, you know, Bulgaria should be considered an empire. And there's just no way on earth that uh, they can defend themselves. 
And he's already bankrupt himself. But he'll recover. Give us a moment. I had to raise it a bit so I know how much it costs per month. 25 and it's 40. Oh yeah, we'll still be making big profits. When Sardinia needs to form an alliance of us, don't go to war just yet. Political concerns, of course. We shall have our alliance. Okay, now we're ready. Nitro is a prince bishopric. Hmm. We have fourteen thousand, although we're not quite at full strength yet. Well, they have nine thousand. Yeah, we can take them on. Again, this is for future conflicts with the Bosnian-Bulgarian Wars, which may last a hundred years or more. We take Nitrod and Trensin in the future, and then we may go down to Ored, because that area, well, one part is serving the other Greek. <laughs> and if we were to be on a conquering side of things, Maybe we should just oh, go on down to that and have this kingdom be part of the Bosnian Empire and this kingdom would be run by Serbs as it was 300 years ago. I might uh, have that possibility. But I can't request an invasion because... Reasons! I already have a vast room. I can request a claim, but no. Pope is merely... Oh. Well, he's crowned. And among other things. I guess the Pope likes him about as much as he likes me. Even though they've been... Somebody's been spreading vicious rumors about me. You know, if I ever had a large, peaceful reign, and if I had so much money, maybe I should start increasing campaign funds to get one of my... Uh, Bishopric vassals to be part of the College of Cardinals. So I could have some sense of control up there. Alright, anyways, enough talk. Duchy of Hellas he has as an ally. That should be of no concern. Did your claim on Nitra. That's what we're going for. Just this one county up there. Then ten years later after peace, we'll fight again and take that county. Although we can't take other places like um, Pest. Because that's a duchy. Or we can call Venice in. Yes. It's gonna be sweet. Alright. Raise our troops. Everyone must scatter around. Bulgarian forces are still up there. Which, mind you, most of their territory is just tribal. Mostly is a relative term. Sardinia, Corsica, and Venice will come down to help us out.
Did I already call Alice in? No, not yet. They're still around. <laughs> you know, I wonder, it's like, if the Duchy of Alice were no longer an ally of the Bulgarians, wonder if we make them a tributary too. Either that or... Or those guys, which... There isn't going to be much of them left. That's only for nearby sources of income. Now we make 15. Now get ready to march. We can't tell where the Bulgarian army is because the king, the Khan, I should say, is not leading them. They're up in Galati, unless that's the retinue, but he is one of the commanders of Bulgaria. Galati, there it is. I think they are getting together. And there are no mercenaries hired, they're, they're that strong. And they're still losing more money again, whatever they've been spending on, well then, that's a mistake on their part. Duchess Johanka's claim on Nitra. That's the title that's contested. Okay, you're the one that wants Nitra. Runs Nitra. Yes. You're orthodox as well, so... Since you... The air is Serbian. Ah, oh, okay. That's gonna be interesting. Huh. That means, you know, the realms will be split again. Oh, anyways. Tony will be my commander here. And, uh, I guess him. That's only for the marshal. I'm the best commander out there. We've already raised our troops, so everything should be alright. March up north to Nitro after we take that, then, then the front line is going to be of this area as we wait for the main Bulgarian army to come down, unless they went to some other place where I would get caught off guard. You know, sending most of our army this way. She's dead, isn't she? Killed by rabble. What are the odds? But don't worry. We'll start up again. Why do I keep going as you are? I see. The Italian boy who has a, a weak claim on the Empire of Bosnia. Oh my dear. He has Pomerani on the, in the palm of his hands. We have to fight against him now before he gets stronger, but then again he can't call up his travel vessels. And let's just hope that there would be a revolt war for independence and I would definitely help them out. Because I would do anything to bring Bulgaria down from being a an Eastern European superpower. They shall fight again. As you are. This, this time for real. I will 
will swallow my pride and take responsibility. Let's not make it worse. We cannot afford to break an alliance down. Uh, I think you may want to get back down here. Come on, let's get out of here. Not again with this. You have 2,000, and the Ragusans only have a small number of forces unless they spend their big money, which they don't on mercenaries. Never lose a merchant republic. Peace with Ragusa, or else. Thank you. When you have a merchant republic vessel, um, <laughs> you think it would have been much better if we, if we had rather, I don't know. Our main concern right now is this front line that'll be up in Slovakia, in space already. So just move up to Ostrogon and then we'll figure it out from here. Uh. Running out of court chaplains these days, but hey. At least I have another loyalist, Peter Osrebenik. We don't have enough good commanders these days, but but once this war is over, maybe we'll start shopping for some better commanders. Now slow down. He's already storming the holdings. If he's got that strong of an army, where's the rest? But we're about to meet him. Sure, he may have the advantage of the hills, but I'm an inspiring leader. We'll inspire our troops to, to fight on up there. We have the superior numbers. Things are going well. When I suddenly hear an embarrassed huff nearby, spinning my sword ready, Sword, don't I carry an axe to battle? Marauder? Yes, I have Marauder, which we do better with heavy infantry. I see the enemy commander of Magotin awkwardly attempted to climb a, a fallen tree. I think he's trying to escape the battle, my lord. Soldier next to him uses. I'll do it to commander myself. My Marauder fit well on my hand, it flew gently across my face. I move carefully, struck once. I need not to strike again. Left a line on the ground, and what to celebrate my victory. About to say, is he one of the better commanders? Yeah. And they call him the Butcher. Well, the Butcher just got butchered. I will show no mercy. He met Marauder. You know, sometimes I wish I would have gone back when I was Mihailo. I should have named it. I should have named that sword. Sword. Axe! The Cleaver. Mate Nino saw of you haphazard brute. Test shouts carries over the hills. While I'm fighting a close battle alongside my personal guards. In the distance, I see enemy reinforcements coming our way. This is not the beginning to my soldiers. Well. Let's be like a Mate Ninoslav of old. Um, not only I'm inspiring, but follow your gut or mine. It'll be a trickster. No to be an unpredictable element of battle. The enemy won't see it coming and neither will I. I'm not going to be the aggressive trickster type. Retake those holdings. Well, actually, 
Sardinia Corsican forces will have to retake that. We have to withdraw back home. The Greeks of Hellas are threatening us. And where's Venice? Well, there's a Venetian fleet. Like, if we take more losses, then we'll have the Venetians to back us up. Yep, they're threatening our capital. A visitor. I have received a visitor. A monk from a famous great abbey at uh, Cluny. He tells that the monks spend much of their time in devoted prayer. And they always mention the names of the most pious Christians in those prayers. If I were to demonstrate my immense piety by donating a so large sum of money to the Cluny Abbey, I'll be, would surely be amongst those present in the monks' prayers. Woo! Uh, make sure I have my support. Money is the least of our worries. Gotcha. We destroyed their army. Move up to Nitro. They're largely Georgians. Pope is dead and the new Pope is Benedictus III. I was about to call him Santa Claus because of that big beard of his, but he's not going to be Pope for long. Alright, thank you for liberating speech for us. Now we fight again. Big time. Get me so. Matter of fact, I think we should do the bulk of the fighting. You do the sieging. Donatus Felipe has contacted me, asking if I have any interest in uh, learning more about roses. Apparently, his latest stream involves a red, dark red variant, mixed with a particular type of yellow wa yellow wild rose hmm. I simply must have some can't go on visit they need me huh. this foggy weather is getting to me turning to the sky I take a deep breath the pompous soldiers of Khan Pavel the second I've been sending their best to me and my limbs are becoming heavy with each step I take. Hmm. Would it be worth killing another commander or become brave? I'll accept and I accept any energy if it protects Bosnia. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. I'm brave. I'll take a minor injury. Swollen wrist. I still have very high personal combat skill regardless. It's probably going to go all the way down. But we captured that commander I would have fought anyways. It's the mild winter that's getting us. Oh, no, this way. All right, the roses I had sent to have now been planted in my own gardens. Their beauty is fairly joined to anybody who passes them. What a true marvel of God. The Dominican order be praised. All right, we get rose gardens for about a lot of years. We gotta chase that army down and destroy them. <clears throat> Freaking one earlier.
Search and destroy. Going to Rashka. Oh. Passed through a revolt. You'll have that uh, statue, whatever you're making, I'll spend that money on it. Ooh. Have a rash. Don't you screw up again. Wait a minute. What about my daughter? Oh, she survived from being sickly. And knowing that she's a genius, well then, uh, I'll give her this. Education already. If she were to become curious, I hope she would become shrewd. I don't know if that's possible to combine genius and shrewd, but... You know, it may happen. Oh, I'm getting sick. If it is great to pox, well then... That's bad. <laughs> bad because, uh, one, I'm young, and I have a son who is very young, and I have a lot to live for. And you think it's gout? You're screwing up again. My friend Gaspar has invited me to a great banquet. Lots of people and lots of food. Good! Good, because it would jolt some of my colleagues in battle. You're developing an arbitrary streak. And now she's ambitious too. You know... I could tell you to take the vows. I mean, I see that you would be suited for a nun life, but uh, no, there are uses of you yet, such as forging alliances or maintaining alliances, such as uh, with Sardinia and Corsica. Things are going well when I suddenly hear an embarrassed tuft nearby. Ah, uh, here we go again. Attempt to climb a fallen tree. Or nag, this guy. I've been itching for a fight! I was chasing Ornag over the hills when Bishop Peter shoved me aside, arguing, I'll take this one, my lord! Clumsily swinging his spear. Oh my, how chivalrous! Bishop Peter of Srebrenica, I didn't know you were a commander. Unless I forgot about it. Well, you are brave. We have a fighting bishop on our side. A little cruel, but... You got him! You killed him! Good show! I'm getting sicker by the day! Okay. I was about to say, have you screwed that moment up? It would have been three strikes, and you're fired as court physician. Head to Tornavo. Actually, let's not. Stop here at Nassos. I think we practically destroyed their main army. Matter of fact, where is the rest of them? Is that the best that they bought? There's house again. Turn around and go to Belgrade, and maybe going that way. No loyalists. With the king of Serbia, you'll be my advisor. Oh, and my 
goodness, it's the great pox. Do terrible, terrible disease. But it's a mild illness, so I'll be able to live longer, but then again, it's an incurable disease, so you probably want to get rid of that as soon as possible. And if not, then if not. Let's try something new, I insist. I don't care what you do to me. Just get rid of that disease. Uh, the assistant showed me that I was asleep. However, Kiyomi's potion had failed to, to fully take effect. Even though I could neither speak nor move, I was still well aware of everything they did to me. I tried to scream and thrash when I was a prisoner in my own body. The procedure seemed to last forever. I am cured of the disease, but I am a lunatic. I'm like my father. Gotcha. Lunatic or not, it's not going to affect my skill in battle. Let's destroy their army one more time. And how are you doing up there? Siege that area. And they call me the Cruel, because of my ruffleness. Not the nickname I would want. Find them. Oh, can't move my spy master yet. They're probably gonna go for Nitra. This is where we want to fight. Nitra is where it's going to be the graveyard for the mighty Bulgarian Empire. You were a superpower long enough, but now it's Bosnia's time. The war score may be 100%, but I would rather beat you one more time. And then you'll get your uh, surrender offering. I would rather beat it out of you. Nitra is ours. It's the Prince Bishwick that belongs to Adoga Nitra, who also controls um, Zeta County. Which I'm sure this Duchess isn't going to like that, who would want that part of the county. You've created a complicated realm here. And the next time we fight against Bulgaria, it'll be for this county. And we'll figure out the rest from here. Huh, Captain Rodolfo of the Sardinian band. I didn't know you're a member of this society. I'm missing the more uh, comforting aspects of faith. Oh, speak, that reminds me. I forgot to do penance. Today my seclusion begins. I've selected a simple chamber in my palace where I'll spend most of the time in the coming months. Living those bare walls, shall do my prayers and read the Bible, contemplate my life and actions. God shall be my companion. 
I forgot to do this duty for you. I was about to say, any of you guys members of the Independence Faction of sorts? Duke for Pomeranian. Okay. If I ever see a revolt break out, maybe we can have a marriage alliance with you. And then we'll... And then we'll fight uh, against Bulgaria again. I think the Dominican Order will treasure these words. Tyranny. That isn't going to do well for them. They did conquer the Little Isles. Oh yes, time to ransom all these guys. What happened to them? As I'm looking up the rest of the world. Thank you. Seljuks are not expanding. Shame in asking for help. All right, he manages to um, explain. Thank you. Speed up a little. Just gotta wrap this episode up. Smart, smart donor. I wish that she was. I wish that she is the Empress, not Kulin, as in for future rulers. The monument promised by Duke um, Islam II is finished. Some people crowd covered their children's eyes as a statue is unveiled. It's a couple in the middle of lovemaking, and not exactly presented in a tasteful way. My goodness, tear it down, man! I'm become chaste. That's more learning. Nevertheless, it's a good virtue to have. Or devotion. I will become celibate the first chance I get. Don't worry, there's enough Tezlovichs. Well, some of them. To keep around in circulation. Gotta show me the light. Bulgaria's got a revolt. Oh boy. Is this for Pomerania? Oh no, it's tyranny. They want to overthrow him. It started by this man. <laughs> Guess they wanted revenge. Is it possible that, uh. Look okay. here. I don't think you take matrilineal, do you? Oh, you do? Well then, let's do the political concerns. Very well. So I guess uh, we have a non-aggression pact, but unfortunately we can't. Hmm. We can't have a. Uh, what you might call have an alliance with them because this is a revolt. If this was independence, I would do whatever it takes to help them so we can bring Bulgaria down together. I know that Saint Dominic was a paragon of temperance, but I struggle to control my appetite while doing penance. I'm supposed to eat very simple food in small portions, but I'm growing weary. I cannot concentrate when my stomach rumbles like this. 
After the little treat, I should turn my duties of a double focus. After midnight, I ventured to the kitchen to find something to still my hunger. I quickly found my favorite treats and proceeded to shove handfuls in my mouth. However, my binge was interrupted as a servant entered the room. As I hid in the pantry, the shame washed over me and I could not do anything. Now I just feel nauseated. No progress. More food! Haha! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> now I've become a student of strategy. Let's figure it out. 15,000. Well, maybe up to 17,000. Very, very soon. This woman is planning on invading me. That she's pregnant. <laughs> Hope she dies uh, in childbirth. It's just a way to get him off my back. I bent over the Bible, trying to make sense of an especially cryptic uh, passage. When a faint tap at the door breaks my concentration, I call for my visitor. To, to my surprise, little Coolin's pale face fixed through the opening. Father, why are you hiding? I miss you. I'm sorry, my great knight. Come sit on my lap. We are close friends. Good father and son time. Almost all of independent Italy swallowed up by the Holy Rune Empire now. As soon as the pendants is finished, I will close the episode right here. Making progress. I will close the episode right here and um, we'll continue with uh, the ever growing um, strength of the Bosnian military and empire. Sure about that. God has shown me the light, and I am promoted. Thank you. Now, let me take a vow of celibacy right now. One would think I should have more children, but... Look, I got one son who was born to a woman. There's the other one, who is a genius, which sometimes I wish she would be the future Empress of Bosnia. My horse has always struck me as being a dependable sort. Macaulay, I feel sorely lacking in my counselors. Time to shake things up a bit. I will appoint him as a new chancellor. Glitterhoof, I appoint thee as chancellor of the realm. Glitterhoof is here. And it's a female horse. Oh boy. What has Mati Ninoslav done? He was supposed to be one of the future all time greats, and now we got a horse of a chancellor. But, um. Yeah, that happened. Although, in all honesty, I would rather have it as an advisor. If I'm allowed. Yes. Have a horse as an advisor. And you're a decent enough chancellor. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> now, let me finish my pendant so we can end this episode already. 
because already it's gonna, it's getting interesting now, but that's gonna have to wait in the next episode for more interesting things to happen. And no, for goodness sakes, I am not spending my money for Glitterhoof to have armor. Why would it need that? Uh, God's blessing upon thee. We are pleased with your progress during the time spent in contact with seclusion. Take a great step in the path of the world of St. Augustine. I hereby declare your mission complete. Thank you. And what do I get out of it? Well, I haven't lost a rough uh, trait yet, but if I were to lose that trait, and since I'm brave, maybe I could be a true Christian knight. It seems this tradition continues. Whoever is in the Ivokovich dynasty, they tended to be, um, they tended to become blessed. And he ran that county. Blessed be his name. He'll be a saint in the future. So, um, again, I guess I'm going to call it an episode here as um, we continue to count up the money and uh, enemy will continue to have its strength restored, slightly anyways. And I hopefully will fight against Bulgaria again unless... I want to antagonize him and get him to fight and I get to kill him or whatnot. I mean, there's going to be a lot of things that would happen on the next episode, hopefully. Something interesting, including continuing to do God's work in the Dominican Order. So we hopefully you see you in the next episode. Until then, so long for now.